Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about how to find the perfect extension. So this is going to be a little different from a lot of the videos we do here where we hop into SketchUp or Layout or V-Ray or something like that and actually use it. We're going to kind of bounce around, we're going to look at some web pages, and we're going to talk about finding extensions. I'm not going to go into installing, we have like, I don't know, three videos last I checked on how to install extensions. Um, but this, we are going to be talking about how, we, how to go and get that extension. So before we dive into where to find them or anything like that, I just want to throw this out there. This is a question that we get a lot. Uh, we see this on the forums. We've had people ask us this at trade shows, that kind of thing. When we interact, what's the best extension? It's like saying, What's the best vehicle? Well, it depends on what you want to do. Are you driving on the earth, flying through the air, going across water? Different vehicles for different uses, right? So kind of along those lines, if you need to find an extension, it's very important to know what it is you want to do. I remember back when I started using SketchUp and I learned about these things called extensions, or I think we called them plugins back then. I know, I'm old. That I wanted to just go out and try some stuff. Like what, what's what's out there? What what could we just what, what things are available? That's cool. That's great. But it's really hard to find something that's going to do something that you need unless you know what you need to do. So, just throwing that out. Keep that in mind as we go through here. Uh if you know what you want to do with an extension, it's going to be a lot easier to find an extension to do that thing. Well, let's talk about how to find extensions. All right, so we're going to look at a couple different web pages here. There is always one thing we're not going to look at is just going to Google and typing in SketchUp extension for blah, 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 whatever that is. The reason I don't always suggest that is extensions can be written by anybody. Anyone in the world has access to the tools that developers need in order to write extensions that run inside of SketchUp. Uh, the problem is ones that are just randomly created and available for download from sites or whatever might not necessarily be good for you. It might actually have malware or, or something like that, viruses in them. So I do recommend, generally speaking, to download from somewhere trustworthy. It is possible you work with somebody who creates an extension and shares it with you. And I'm not saying anyone that's not on the extension warehouse or sketchication is bad, but uh, you generally want to know where an extension comes from and don't just grab something because it has the right extension and install and see what happens. Okay, with that out of the way, this is the first place we're going to look. This is Extension Warehouse. Extension Warehouse, of course, can be got to right from inside SketchUp. You can click the little extension button and it'll bring you here. Or you can go in a browser to extensions.sketchup.com. That'll get you here also. If you download from here, you're not going to be able to hit the install directly button. You will download the file and then open up uh, extension manager and hit in ex <laughs> hit install. That's important. But uh, for the most part, what we see here is going to be very similar. Now, when you first get in here, there is, you know, options of featured extensions. These are, you know, good extensions that are doing well. Uh, top extensions, these are the ones that are being downloaded the most. Then we have a couple spotlight on developers. Uh, these are the, you know, the creme de la creme. These are the high end. These, these guys got good stuff going on. So you can always come in here and just go, hmm, let's see, what do we got here? Oh, we got this thing called True Bend. We got cleanup. We got, you know, whatever. I could actually just grab something and download it and see what happens. That's cool. Give it a shot. Uh, issue is, of course, if you don't actually know what it does or have a need for it, it's not, even, no matter how well put together an extension is, if you don't have a need for it, if there's not a reason to use it, it doesn't matter how good it is, right? Because you don't have a anything to do with it. So generally speaking, what I would recommend, if you don't know of an extension specifically you're coming here for, if you know the name of an extension, of course, you can type it in here. Or if you know who it's by, you could go search for them. But if you don't know, there is this categories button. And this categories button is going to give you, it's, it's very high level general, that sort of thing. But it's going to at least give you an idea of kind of what I'm looking for, right? So if I, well, let's look at landscape architecture see what I have available in landscape architecture. When I do that, it's going to give me all the extensions that the developers have identified as being useful for landscape architecture. I know this is this is a little bit of a, you know, 
is worth noting is the people who decide where this should go are the people who develop it. So what's to stop somebody from just putting themselves in everything? I don't know, you got to take that with a little bit of a grain of salt. But generally speaking, it's pretty fair to see, yeah, okay, these are tools that landscape developers or landscape architectures could use. So there is stuff that's, that's you know, uh, we have like a fence making tool, um, hiding lines, so you get smooth architecture, that kind of thing. 2D components from 3D, so that's great for creating face meet trees, that kind of stuff. So there are tools that will apply to the broad spectrum of landscape architecture and how that works. So some stuff is pretty obvious, instant terrain, while something else might not be quite as obvious. You know, um, what does color me have to do with landscape architecture? I don't know, but there's probably a use case that makes sense there. So with that, I, I don't wanna say it's like, it's a slam dunk. You don't just type in or just click on landscape architecture. Oh, here you go, here they are. You are gonna have to go through here and, and take a look. But going through this and saying landscape architecture at least gonna give you a look, right? The other thing that this, this view right here shows you is it does tell you what's a free and what is a paid uh, extension, as well as what's a listing page. A listing page is a page that tells you about it and then takes you to the developer's own website to purchase or download a trial or anything like that. So those are the three types of pages you'll see here. You can see, is this free? Uh, is this paid? Or will it go to a listing page? If you do click on one of these, of course, it's going to take you in here, give you some information about it. Again, this is all put together by the developer. And you can kind of see just some of the information about it. Uh, you can see release notes on more recent versions. So it's a good way to get a view of it. Depending on the page, you might be able to watch a movie. It's a little demo or even a training reel. They'll tell you how to use the extension. But this is a good overview, get an idea of how that works. So it is one way to search for it. Another place to go, of course, is the plugin store. So when you come into the plugin store, this is Sketchucation, you go to sketchucation.com and click on plugin store. And it's going to give you a simple list of extensions. Just like the extensions we were just looking at over here, I do have the ability to go to categories. And again, I can come through here and, and say based on, you know, different, it's a different set of uh, categories than we saw on extension warehouse. But I could choose one of these, let's say what's, what's construction, and it'll show me again the extensions that were created saying that they, they work for construction in this case. One of the nice things about this, so it does it does show it here. Uh, basically, yeah, I do have to log in to download it. You have to have an account on Sketchucation to download from the plugin store. You can create one for free, so you can always come up here and register. There's a free version you can register for. And when I find one, I can click on it. And again, very similar to the listing page, some basic information here, but this right here is really cool about the, the, the uh, plugin store is more info. This is the listing page, again, similar to what we saw in Extension Warehouse, basic information, images, that kind of thing. But if I scroll down here a little bit, right here, I have the ability to jump right into the Sketchucation forum and see a topic dedicated to this extension, and I can go to the main post or the latest release. So if I hop over here, it's gonna open another new tab, and it's going to show me the curve off page. And this is the cool part. If I scroll down here, it actually goes in and shows all the interactions of people using it, asking questions, uh, giving feedback. And the developers are on here. They're answering those questions. It's really nice interactive and it goes a little bit deeper than what you would see with just the listing page back on Extension Warehouse. So these are great. These are awesome places to get. Like I said, if, if I was going in and looking for an extension, I would probably start at these two locations. Sometimes I forget so, some extent or some developers only list on extension warehouse. Some of them only list on the plugin store. Uh, so I forget sometimes which is which. We have to jump around and search for them. But uh, they are the extensions you get from here for the most part are very reliable. They're put together well. They've been tested. So I definitely recommend these two locations. This kind of addresses but doesn't 100% nail exactly how you find the extension and that's where this last place is going to go. SketchUp community, forums.sketchup.com. This is the place to go if you need an extension to do something but don't know what it is, how to ask or how to search uh, the stores for them. 
In here, you can come in and you can search for architectural extension. You can search for landscape extension. You can just write a brand new post that says, hey, I need a better tool for putting doors and windows into my walls. This is an awesome place. Our community has so many users who are willing to share their workflows and tell you how to do what you need to do that if I ever need an extension still to this day, if I'm looking for an extension or can't remember an extension, something like that, I'll go on the forum and ask here and somebody's going to hop in here. So this one in particular, I just searched architectural extensions and got a list. This, these are people coming up listing their top extensions. These are top extensions for use in architectural modeling. So a lot of great ideas here. This is from 2021, but most of these extensions that I'm seeing go by are still valid today, still available today through either extension warehouse or the plugin store. So if you don't know what you're looking for, I would say come here, ask, get feedback, get input, or just search. Search for it and maybe somebody's already asked the question you have and there's good answers already here. If not, then using those search functions on the warehouses are definitely going to help you out. So like I said, this was a little bit different from our normal videos, but I've just seen so many questions lately that have been asking, how do I find extension does this? Or what is, what's the best extension? Well, that's subjective. That, that'll, that's worse than talking about your favorite operating system. So these are some ideas, some ways to go find extensions, especially if you're new to SketchUp and haven't used extensions before. This is going to get you started at least finding those right extensions. And the other thing to think about too, like I said, subjective, just because somebody else likes an extension doesn't mean it's going to work in your workflow. So extensions are pretty easy to install, uninstall. So if you ever find one that, hey, it was, this was suggested to me, but it didn't work for me, no problem. Just uninstall and try the next one. I hope that helps. Um, I do hope that if you are new to using and you haven't got an extension, you hop in there. This is one of those things where you just jump in. Just jump in, go get an extension. It doesn't mean ignore knowing how to do it in regular SketchUp. That's important too. Learn SketchUp first, but then when you're ready to accentuate your workflow, check out extensions. I uh, hope you like that. If you did, like it, comment, share it. Let us know what you think. Also, let us know how you come across extensions. What is your favorite extension? Let's get, let's get broad like that. What do you like best? What's your favorite extension? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you.